Baron Roman Heinrich Leo Gamotha. Thank you very much indeed, Beagle. Well read, I must say. Now, a formal good morning to you all and a very warm welcome to the Chamberlain's Courtroom. Hello, I'm Murray Craig and I'm the Clerk of the Chamberlain's Court. I'm only the 37th Clerk of the Court since 1294. My role at the Guildhall is to admit people to the freedom of the City of London in a very ancient ceremony stretching back to the 13th century. Today, the ceremony, the freedom is largely symbolic, but historically it was a very valuable document, uh, the right to trade. Historically, it would, one of the privileges would be to enable you to take your sheep over London Bridge uh, as a freeman. In the Middle Ages, of course, the real privilege was you didn't pay the toll. And in those days, you were taking the sheep to Smithfield Meat Market to sell for a profit. And not to pay the toll would, of course, enhance your profit margin. Some very distinguished people have received the freedom of the City of London over the centuries. None more so than Lord Nelson, who received the freedom here in 1797 after defeating the Spanish fleet at the Battle of Cape St Vincent. You will note he received a splendid illuminated copy of freedom together with a gift of a gold box to the value of a hundred guineas. When Florence Nightingale was offered the freedom, she said, I don't want a gold box. That is far too ostentatious for a lady of my simple tastes. Will you instead send a cheque for a hundred guineas to my nursing charity at St Thomas's Hospital and just give me instead a plain, simple wooden box? So the corporation sent the cheque to St Thomas's Hospital and gave her this plain, simple wooden box, which, as you can see, isn't very plain or simple. The Angel of Mercy... Crimea, Inkerman, Sevastopol, Columns, Soldiers, Lion's Heads, the Coat of Arms of the City, and Florence's initials in enamel. The Lord Mayor was tremendously infused by the magnificent performance of the British Olympic and Paralympic teams last year and wrote to several of the Olympic athletes offering them the freedom of the City of London, particularly those of a London connection, uh, a way of recognising their magnificent achievement in winning the mixture of bronze, silver and gold medals. The freedom has lasted for eight centuries and today it is, in the modern era, it is still as relevant as it has been going back to the 13th century. Uh, it's certainly now a tool for recognising achievements of people in certain fields, not just Olympians. Uh, for example, J.K. Rowling received the freedom for services to literature as did Michael Caine last week, uh, marking, celebrating his 80th birthday with an exhibition at the Museum of London, before which he also received the freedom of the City of London. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. 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 Yeah.